Um, so especially, I should say maybe not especially, but certainly in Calvary Chapel, that's been one of the hallmarks of our ministries, is preparing people for that moment, is, and, and living in the excitement that knowing Jesus could come at any time. Well, you know, I've been walking with the Lord for over 20 years, and it hadn't happened yet. And for a lot of people that have been looking expectantly for the Lord to snatch them away, sometimes time goes by and we start to think, well, yeah, he could come today, theoretically, but probably won't get him yesterday. And you start to just sort of fall into sort of a, just, okay, I'm a Christian, I'm living my life and this kind of thing, and I'm not doing anything overtly wrong or anything, but I don't really have that excitement. Sometimes we can wait. For others, it becomes sort of a, a sense of disillusionment. Well, he hasn't come yet. Where is the return of his coming and all this kind of thing? And then just we start to say, maybe think those things, and we can fall into a very casual kind of Christianity and maybe even a sinful lifestyle, not one that we're out there doing dope and, and, and just all kinds of terrible things, but it's just in our, in our hearts. Maybe we're not forgiving anymore because, you know, it's getting hard to do that now. And Jesus loves me anyway, and so what's the big deal? And maybe we've sort of gotten loose with some of our... You know, our attention to walk with Jesus, that, that fervency is no longer there. Because after all, it's like, I'm still saved, but, uh, you know, it's just, it's not fun yet, and all this kind of thing. You know, Paul wrote to the Corinthian church, which was an overtly carnal church. I mean, they were not just kind of, where's Jesus? I mean, they were still, they had all kinds of issues. And Paul wrote the whole first letter. He ends his letter with a very interesting uh, word. He says, I love, basically tells them he loves them. After he says, grace be with you and everything, he says, I love you, in essence. Now, he doesn't do that in the other letters, but he spent so much time correcting them for the last 16 chapters that he just wants to make sure, guys, just so you know, I don't hate you.